Have you ever seen me do digital art before? Um, no. So let's do it. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace. I'm going to draw Goku versus Luffy in their peak attacks. Andre, don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always staying for something. Don't I forgot to tell you this. I'm also going to judge the process out of 10 for sketching, inking, coloring, comfort, and overall the fun. In the end, I'm going to compare digital art to traditional art that I always do. You can mold shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity. Sketching. Sketching was almost the same as traditional with one main difference that I can adjust the size of the drawing and move it with the lasso tool. This was the best tool overall for this drawing. So I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. Inking. Inking was one of the most frustrating part of this process. Doing one thing again and again is so annoying especially the inking. I had to press Ctrl Z again and again and this was one of my least favorite parts of the process. So I'm going to give it 3 out of 10. Coloring. Coloring was a mix of fun and frustration. To select a whole area and color it instantly was fun but adding the details was the same as inking. Frust it was frustrating to redo every time but it was still not bad as inking. So I am going to give it 7 out of 10. I won't stop on the fight until there's nothing left. It's so good. You're gonna be hurting back. Cause I've been to hell and back. You don't wanna make me mad. I stay strong. You will never see me crack. Effect. Digital art is known for adding effect. Those are hard in traditional medium. And I actually agree on that. Highlight and extra effects like glow, fire, etc. With the airbrush was fun. Probably my second fun experience after sketching. So I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Comfort and fun. This was the main thing that I was looking towards in the digital art that disappointed me the most because staying, uh, staying at the screen was straining my eyes but it was okay as I'm used to playing video games but the most frustrating part was the redo. Control Z. Redoing everything and spending hours on one thing was the most frustrating part of this journey but I still like this medium because of its extra features like changing the size of anything anytime and other stuff that can change the end result but doing it again and again was the main problem. I would still prefer doing traditional art because you get only one chance to do it and that takes less time and, is, and it is more fun. I will still try this medium again in future to edit or add effects to my traditional artwork but there are still things that traditional artists can't do with ease but nothing is impossible and the old ways are the best ways to live in this modern world. This was Ayasin Sodi. See you next time.